Hello my friends and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Let's Play Part 144. I'm finally getting back into it because we are finished with the festival stuff for now. The festival stuff, the dual trial stuff, all that. So I hope um, all of you who are watching are excited for the um, Let's Play series because I'm getting back into it right now. Well, not right now because I need to say the little spiel at the beginning, like the um, please like, share, and subscribe, and consider ringing that notification bell. You can either ring the bell and select it to notify you of all my videos by selecting the bell and selecting all um, the videos you like the most by selecting the bell and selecting personalize. Either way, you slice it there. You'll, it'll pretty much be Mastodal. So if you like Mastodal, might as well select all. And then if you don't, you can still select the bell and select none if you want to try to keep up with maybe a game in the future because you can always change your mind later. Or if you're just trying to be nice, but you might like what I have in store. I'll definitely put a post about it too when I'm, um, it would probably be a while, but oh yeah, this, I have to look at the, what I get here. Galactic Evolution Pack Ticket. Oh. So, okay, I'll show you how to use that real quick. So, Galactic Evolution. So that's for 5 billion packs. So how you use it is you go here and then you can do 10 or you can do 2. I think what you want to do, because I'm not sure if it like counts, like this super rare thing counts if you open like just 2 and then 2 and then 2 and then 2 five times. I'm not sure, but if you save up 10 of these, which you might be able to save up 10 of these. Let's see, how many can you get? Um... Assuming you can save up 10 of these, maybe you can just wait. Um, oh, looks like you get a guaranteed super rare anyway. I'm not sure if that still counts towards the super rare thing. Um, if, if basically get 2 now. Looks like you can only get 7 though. So, but at least this one is guaranteed. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, but someone can let me know if like... um. If, like, you can still open one pack at a time and still get a super rare in the 10th pack. I just like opening 10 at a time for the most part. And then basically stopping when I can't do that. But maybe, um, I'm kind of wrong in that. But, like, whatever. It's just, like, I don't mind doing it that way. Um, yeah, and then a few issues with the new cards, as always. You can, like, always go feel free to, like, maybe pause and read if you want. Um, yeah, and then here's the missions about this, and then it's talking about how, like, one, um, it does include one where you can get an SR above. It's too bad that it can't be a guaranteed, um, hollow SR above. That would be pretty nice, but... I mean, they still seem to be kind of cheap. Like, that last ticket, like, it was kind of sore on me because, like, um... I mean, they could have easily made it to where you couldn't disenchant it, like, either. Um, but they could have allowed, like, uh, gave you, like, a better selection of cards, I feel. Like, only, the, like, having it legacy seems kind of... I mean, dumb. Like, they should have, like, basically made it so maybe, like, um... Maybe they could have made it to where, like, you could, like, like, it even, I'm not sure if Master Pack would have been better, because then that would have been even a larger selection. But I'm sure they could have done something. Maybe. Um, yeah, it feels kind of silly how they did it. Yeah, and then the new selection pack. There's a new secret pack, too, so it's pretty cool. Like, um, it's another way to get Brown. Um, although you could just craft it, but if you wanted the other stuff, ooh, a deluxe one. So I think that means that, not exact, oh yeah, it changes. It's galaxy though, I don't really care about galaxy. You can feel free to read this stuff if you want. 
Um, another new ic- a few more new icons. So that's pretty cool. You can feel free to read that. Um, so I'll go into a shop. But I'm try gonna try to make it so that this video isn't nearly as long. And now I can like kind of gauge a lot better because like it's um the let's play and I kind of just don't want it to be very long anyway because um it's kind of late and I kind of just want to get this done and in um yeah there's the notes again if you need to read it and then there's a little snippet if you want to read that there's that protector yeah like basically the same and then the little note if you want to read it and then here's this one and then once again it's just always going to be the same there important notes and what is a protector but yeah okay and then Icon is the pure Pirelli, and apparently I didn't look at the red eyes. Zoom into the red eyes, so I'll look that. And then here's the important notes and the icon for basically both of them, since they'll both say the same thing. Um, and then icon frame. I'm not sure why they're grayed out like that, but it's this one, the light. So there's that, and then you can look at important notes and like what is icon frame. I think it tells you like basically how to like um, equip them to. And then there's the deck box. Yeah, it tells you how to equip it, and then some important notes. And then it's gonna be the same for this, so. Okay, um, I can also open up a free pool for the Noble Knights. I think I will open that, but I think I'm going to save the Galactic Evolution until I get all the tickets. And then I can just open them all at once. So I'll do that. I'll go ahead and go into the um, solo mode, though. Maybe, like, the scenarios for today, and then maybe one duel if we have time, but... Um, let's see. So it says I can get open the gate. Maybe I, sh I should just go in order. Or actually, I think I can like look at like the release date. Yeah, so date added. I think I'll just... So it's going down. So I believe this is the newest. So I think I'm going to just go with the oldest one. Yeah, this is definitely the oldest one. So th there's the gate details. It's a this one's about subterra, and then saying the subterra behemoth terrorizes the hidden city basically. Um, and then it's also saying that all um that everyone knows of the, the legends, and only those able to escape from it can survive long in this world. Um, so yeah, hopefully you're able to escape from it. Um, if you face it, but of course it's, eh, whatever. Um, scenario and PN's cards, here's what's going to show up in this story. For those of you who want to know what, um, art they're going off of. And I guess you can get a sneak at some of the effects that th will be utilized. Because I think you, you like, um, at least the scenario cards like are pretty much guaranteed to be used maybe not right away but um eventually in the duels that are um featured here the lona deck duels um so i think that's a good way to like um know ahead of time like some of the cards that like that actually gonna be used because I don't think they use all of the sub terra cards, but um, they will probably use most of them. But yeah, there might be a few that are left behind, but I think the ones that show up in the scenarios are definitely 
going to be ones that I use in, in some ratio, maybe just one of, but like still, that's good enough to, um, that, like, you can say, oh, it was still used, um, they might not show up in your hand, because, of course, it's, it's maybe a little bit random, but, um, at least you have a chance, yeah, and a few of these are supers, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, you also, g this is also, of uh, um, uh, another good way of getting the secret pack, as always. As a reminder, because I know it's been a while, once you, um, click on the goal, you need to be ready to realize that, like, now you're getting the secret pack. Once, um, you click on goal, basically. And I think there's, like, a goal scenario, too. I think there's always a goal scenario. Um, but yeah, you better be ready to, um open that secret pack so if you really care about it you should probably want to wait until you actually have enough gems if you're gonna go all in for like sub terrors and maybe check into the secret pack a little bit which i mean i'll i'll definitely show off um but yeah like but yeah you definitely want to see if there's any other cards that like are good in that secret pack because it may not just be the sub terror stuff that are in there that are actually good and usually that's the case it's usually not just one deck and they like to mix archetypes they might even like mix like crawlers sense um i i think it's usually like they have like a similarity or like um they're like they f they both fit within the same lore story um so they have some kind of connection that like fits them like crawlers and sub tears like may be in this same secret pack because they share the whole like um flip to activate their effects anyway let's look at the scenario now i get orbs for this which is helpful for opening gates just as a reminder okay so wicked dragon the hidden city and always i'll go ahead and go to auto Okay, so the Hidden City, a subterranean world and a capital city where many intellectual races cohabitate. There's no sun nor sky here, yet there's an abundance of nature. The grace of nature cannot be taken for granted as it is an important part of life for the inhabitants. For example, the moss that covers the walls of the large caves glow at regular intervals, illumining the darkness. This light emulates day and night time, just like the sun that gives plants and animals the power to live. No one knows the origin of this world and how this world became to be what it is. This metropolis is a culmination of nature's bounty and the will of various species to coexist with one another. In this underground world where many call home, there are beings fe feared as calamities from ancient times. Living legends that stands at the top of all life in the un underground. The wicked eight dragons called the Subter Behemoths. To the inhabitants of the subterrain, surviving and effectively hiding from these so called calamities was a higher priority than finding food to eat. As long as these calamities exist, finding a safe haven is a difficult undertaking. Okay, so there's that, that scenario. I'll probably just get the packs over with and I think I'll go into a pack opening after that. Um, so let's get this practice in. So this is what I get for completing it, Shifting Shadows. Not really that great of a card, and it's really easy to craft anyway. 
So a lot of people probably already have it by the time this came out. Um, but, I mean, it's another three. And then you can always just disenchant the ones you already had. I don't think you ever can get hollow versions from as clear reward cards. I don't think I ever have. Okay, so, and then of course the first time it's random, but once you clear it, you'll be able to choose whether you want to go first or second. Oh yeah, and I need to um, clear out a little bit of solo mode for one of my missions anyway, but not to worry because I still have a lot of time to get done. So I'm not too worried about not clearing up today. Um, what makes a sub terror deck unique? High level sub terror monsters can be special summoned from your hand when a face up monster on your field has been fit, flipped face down and there are no other face up monsters on your field. Many sub terror cards have effects that flip cards or monsters that have effects that trigger when they are flipped. Use card flipping to draw your card's potentials. And also, there are monsters that can flip themselves face down too, so maybe you could utilize that if you really want to try to summon out the big guys as early as possible. Yeah, and then Helosaurus or other monsters that can just special summon themselves for basically free can also be good because it can also give you tribute fodder if you'd rather just tribute into the big guys. Um, also the big guys have ways of like flipping themselves face out too, so. Once you bring out one big guy, it's pretty easy to bring out like others. Um, special summon su sub terror behemoth Umastrix and win the duel during this turn. Activate the hidden city. This effect will allow you to add, um, basically the monster that you need. Yeah, so now be able to add the exact monster that I need which is the sub tier nemesis so special summon that sub tier monster from your graveyard have in order to put that effect and use sub tier nemesis warrior must tribute monster on your field including itself and the sum of the levels of the tribute monsters must be more than the monsters um, s that have been sent to the graveyard from your deck so you can send monsters from your graveyard to your deck with the card as well so that's pretty cool since you will be special summoning a level 7 sub tier behemoth in Maastricht, you should special summon Helo Source from your hand and prepare to use the effect of sub tier Nemesis Warrior. Yeah, this is pretty useful because without this, I wouldn't be able to like bring out the big dude since um, I wouldn't have had the correct tribute fodder. Um, try summoning sub tier Nemesis Warrior. So I'll go ahead and spe summon that. Monsters with the total sum of level 7 are now in your field. Activate the effect of sub tier Nemesis Warrior and special summon sub tier Behemoth and Asterix in face down defense position. Send sub tier Behemoth and Asterix from the deck to the graveyard and tribute to monsters on your field. So I send the one that I want to summon from my deck to the graveyard and then I tribute off the two. And then I special summon out of the graveyard. That's kind of a convoluted way of getting out from the deck, but um, it helps because um, they can't just. Well, I, I mean, they might still be able to Ash Blossom, but actually, no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, it, it it makes it so that Ash Blossom isn't usable because um, since you're special summoning out of the graveyard, Ash Blossom can't hit graveyard. I mean, sure, you, they can still call by the grave the monster, or um, use that ghost sister that actually hits the graveyard, but the Haunted Mansion ghost sister generally isn't used as much, so it still helps being able to get around Ash Blossom. Now activate the, uh, the effect of the Hidden City. With its effect, you may flip all sub tier monster on field and face out in defense position face up. Does it allow you to do all of them? Put the sub to Behemoth and Matrix in a face-up attack position. Does this do all of them? No, it's only one. But I guess because I only have the one, the warning was just a little weird. By flipping sub to Behemoth and Matrix, you can activate the effect of sub to Behemoth and Matrix that banishes one monster on opponent's field. 
and also trigger the effect of Subterm Nemesis Warrior, which was best summoned self in the graveyard. That's pretty cool, all on the same turn. Now activate each effect and resolve them. So I first I can activate this. And the cool thing about this banish is that some banishes are only for a limited time. But this just straight up banishes it forever. So that's really cool. And now I can just activate this because a monster was flip face up. One of my sub one of the sub tiers. So I, I I trade out two to get that out, but then I was able to bring it back out right away again. So I can maybe like use it later on. Unfortunately, I can only special summon during my turn. I think. Oh, it's on either player's turn. That's really cool. And then I can just um, flip it face down again. See, that's what I'm talking about. Attack your opponent with your two monsters. Yeah, see, once you get one of these guys out. Or, I mean, even the goo, I believe, can, like, flip itself face down, too. So, you don't even... It doesn't even need to be one of the, like, high-level sub-terrors. It can also be the goo. Because I believe the goo can also flip itself face down again. Yeah, but now... I'll go ahead and go into the pack opening. Um, and then after that, I can... I guess I can say my goodbyes to those who don't want to see the pack opening. So anyway, for those who don't want to stay for the pack opening, um, thank you for staying for the... Um, for the um, practice duel and the scenario, at least. Or whichever of those you stayed for. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day whenever you watch this um and also i pray that for those of you who are staying for the pack opening and the rest of you who watch any part of my video i pray that um you can get something out of the verses whenever i um am able to get them posted which might not be right away but hopefully um but at some point um or maybe like any of the verses that you have already seen. Maybe you'll you could even um, search for verses on your own. And I pray that that uh, maybe like um, gives you the motivation eventually to um, maybe seek out Jesus and maybe even bring some of your friends to him as well. Um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and go into a pack opening. Um. Yeah, let's look at this. Just one pack of this, but maybe I'll pull something really cool. Oh. Not looking too shabby. The little lightning bolt there. Oh. I got a hollow, though. That's cool. Technically could be used with sprites, but um, but once you lock yourselves yourself into only being able to get, bring out two stuff, you won't be able to spell summon it. Um, some pretty cool art though on some of these, so not bad. Maybe some um, but yeah. Um, just a bunch of rares and normals. Anything that stands out, though. This might be pretty cool. If you're running a lot of lights and you want to get some draws. Maybe this could be usable in Furnables. I'm not sure. And then, of course, some Maconco support, some Shadal support. And then the Phantasm and Spiral is pretty good in the Phantasm deck. This is, I know this is, that's a card that gets used in the Phantasm deck, but that's about it. Um, yeah. So there's the pools. Not the best pools in the world, but I did get some new cards. And I got a hollow, um, a glossy card as well. So that's nice. I got my play set of this guy for, um, if it matters at all. Oh, that's my second spiral battle. That's cool. Um, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the pack opening. 
um, I'll try to like um, get the um, description um, verse and um, maybe I could even may maybe like um, I could even since I feel like getting a verse and description is pretty important I think what I'm gonna do is since like I may not be able to put in everything maybe I could just put in the verse and then I can always do the timestamps later. And then I can put a little bit of a note like timestamps to be added at a later date. I think I will do that because I still feel like the verse is pretty important. And I shouldn't be slacking on like getting the verse like out like taking a while for that. Especially for those who like it's really helping. Um, so I, th I, I, th I think I still will do that so I can still have that verse discussion. And then also I can like put the other comments like the promotion like right away too. Um, I can also put that. And then the timestamps I'll just do later. Like anything else with the description that's not as important I'll just put later. So sorry for those all, all, who like the timestamps also. But I want to make some. Uh, th this will be the compromise I'll come with because. Um. I mean, I gotta think about what's important. Um, yeah. So I hope you all understand. Um, maybe I'll have a lot more, more time to, to to do the timestamps later on. But for now, that's what I can be doing. And then I can get the timestamps at, still at some point. Um, anyway, that'll be pretty much it for the video. Um, I'll... Um, Put the verses, um, I'll do the verses by the end of the week, uh, is what I'll say. Like, probably not the timestamps, but at least the verses, and also the comments. The, um, place where you can promote yourself, and the place where you can, like, discuss the verse if you wish. Um, and, and that verse discussion will be a pin comment as always. Uh, but I will, um... In, in all my other videos I need to put the verses for, I will put verses for them. Um, pr probably, well, I can't really say that. But by, by the time this video is out, like, they should already be there, basically. Um, so I'll get to those right away. Um, uh, anyway, um, bye everyone.